thank God. You've been spotted.
incoming! They should soften them up. Intervention is necessary. Direct intervention is necessary. so nervous. Uh, I'm worried, guys. I'm so worried. I don't think- I don't think she got- I don't- I don't think any of them came out of this okay. Uh, come on, guys! Oh my god, Tally. Do you copy? Commander! Come on, Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors oh. on board. We're just waiting for you. Uh-oh. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. Um... That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. No. Yeah, I get the gist of it. Let's conclude before I go into the the breakdown of everything that's happened. But this is just. It's just, it's it's a lot. It's just no. You have failed. We will find another way. No. Releasing control. There is no other way. Die. Get blown up. Was it perfect? No. By no stretch of the imagination was it perfect. You know, did I end up getting somebody killed? Yeah. I did. But it is what it is, and I think that's really what what brings uniqueness to this game, is that, you know, not everybody's gonna come through it completely. I, m I mean, you can do it perfect, but ultimately, you know, I feel that what I've done is Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. You know what? Fuck you, elusive man, in every stretch of the imagination. And you know what? Even, like, I, I'm gonna get into this when I get, I get into the credits. You know, I'm not gonna explain my actions. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna 
cover all this when I ramble on about the credits and just, uh... Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Exactly. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Selfish. Either way. Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. You, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I've, I've had it. I know what you are and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside, but don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? Damn straight. You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. No, I am completely done with this. You cost me lives and you cost me everything and you've done nothing but dick with me from the very start of this so yeah yeah i'm fucking done with you elusive man i'm not kidding around anymore joker lose this channel and i feel damn good about it You can hate me for as long as you want. sad really I'm actually <laughs> pretty emotional about it and I know that we didn't always I know that we didn't always get along but you know seeing all their faces it makes me feel good I know it wasn't perfect guys <laughs> but we did it I feel, I feel good about that. Oh my gosh, and just like that, I know it's, I know it's not over, I know we still have a hell of a lot of DLC to go through, but damn, and I'm I'm going to start off on the topic of Jack. I feel like you know, we had our differences and it's like I was saying before with just getting all emotional and everything, but um it's been it's it's just how do we feel about this? It's we we never saw eye to eye, but seeing her die was actually really emotional and I know I know people are gonna be unhappy about the outcome and I know that people are gonna say you know it's not perfect you could have done it this way and nothing bad would have happened or you could have taken care of it this way but the fact of the matter is that I feel like I feel like you almost go into things with like these rose colored glasses or this fog over your eyes where you just you don't see things the way that you should and I, f I feel that somebody dying and yeah okay it's Jack but somebody dying and somebody not making it through this makes the impact of this ending and makes the impact of of the events more real and more it, it tugs at you more and I feel that that's important I feel it's important to really feel if you go into the end of the game and you know nothing bad is going to happen to you or to your your friends and your allies then it's it's a little I feel it's jaded almost so I do you know and it's sad she's dead 
she's not going to be with me in Mass Effect 3, but it's the price you pay. And, you know, I'm gonna go through that entire game, and I'm, I'm getting <laughs> emotional here again. I'm going to go through that entire game with the weight of her death on my conscience. And yeah, like I said, we didn't always see eye to eye, but she was a person. She put aside everything to to help us, and, and I feel that that should at least be honored. So... <laughs> I hate this, guys, because I'm actually getting really emotional here. But I just, the music in the background is not helping because it's so it's just intense. And, but you know what it is, guys? It's, it's just, it's been a long, it's been a long journey and an emotional journey and a roller coaster of craziness. And I'm so relieved that the people most important to me made it through this mission and that I know that all my decisions, <laughs> you know, I know there were a lot of decisions people questioned, a lot of decisions in this LP that people were confused about or didn't agree with, and, you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that, and I'll always be okay with that. And I know some people aren't going to be, you know, this this was never intended to be a perfect playthrough. This was never intended to be the best run it could ever be, you know. By no stretch of the imagination was this game supposed to be this 100%, you know, walkthrough. Because that's not what it was. It was a journey. Is really the only way to describe it is it's a journey. And to finish this chapter of Shelly Shepard's journey, and I, I know it's not over, but to have this chapter finished, there's a, there's a sense of just, it's just, it's overwhelming. And I know, I didn't think I was gonna ramble this much, but, oh, you guys, it's been, it's been amazing. And I know I have more to, to add to this LP, but, it was absolutely amazing, and I'm so happy that I was able to share the journey, because that's what this is to me, this entire thing with, with Mass Effect is a journey for me, and an emotional journey, and I love when, when Bioware and companies write games like this and they really make you feel and I know that I'm <laughs> I know that I'm a sensitive person by nature it's it's part of I guess just who I am but <sighs> you know it, it, it is what it is and I'm so I'm glad I could share it with everybody and I'm glad that you all Hopefully enjoyed the ride. It's been just so unbelievably I I don't know. I don't know. I wish the credits would go by faster because I'm talking with this kind of silence behind me, like, you know, where's the music? But I'm okay with that. It's probably already almost done anyway. I mean how many people does it take to make a game? Probably a lot, but I'm just oh I'm just in it's intense guys. It's so intense. Yeah, it's going through the DLC and stuff now. Which I guess is credits it doesn't go through if you don't have them, which is why the music doesn't carry on so long. I don't know, but whatever. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. I'm uh I'm starting to wind down a little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna cry anymore. Hopefully, you know, here's hoping. But it's been amazing, and I'm so thrilled to have been able to share this with people. And Mass Effect 3, I'm looking forward to so much. I'm looking forward to just doing everything and 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 finishing up the the third chapter in this saga, this epic tale, I mean, I've, 
I've considered Mass Effect 1 to be one of my favorite LPs I've done, but this has been just an extraordinary ride, and I love this game. I love this game, and I cannot wait to to go back through the series and just start playing again with different characters and make different choices and you know maybe do things maybe do things perfect just as a, a, a second time around but I'm not gonna it is what it is and I'm not gonna I don't regret I don't regret my decisions because I made decisions that I thought were right and it's as I said when I was making those decisions you gotta go with your intuition and you know sometimes you're wrong but it is what it is and that's just how it had to happen I guess and I feel bad because I know there are people that like Jack and probably wanted to see more of Jack and Shelly Shepard interact but it is what it is I'm not gonna go back and fix it guys I'm not gonna make sure Jack's a part of ME3 because then it's not consistent and it's not a straight you know, perfect like, I, d I want it to be cohesive I want it to be co cohesive and I, d I just, I want it to, to go through perfectly fine and these credits just drag on and on and on and I'm rambling and rambling and rambling I just, ugh I got too much downloadable content installed. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it's getting near the end. Maybe? Maybe I don't know. I look forward to, to going through the DLC with you though guys. I really do. And Mass Effect 3 is going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to it. I know I've heard stories. I haven't looked into anything, but I've heard stories about unhappy people. You know, in regards to the ending and how they had to fix it and blah blah blah. But, you know, I'm going in with a fresh mind and I don't want to hear anything about it. And if people spoil it, I've got people who are going to tell me that you guys are spoiler games. Don't spoil the game, guys. Or I will come down there with my army of, of people <laughs> and we will take you out shepherd style <laughs> no fooling but it's just been i, c I can't even it, it just words i'm you know i had so much to say and now i'm just at a loss of words and i think it's because i've pretty much said everything that i wanted to say i've i've gone through it it's the end i think everybody who's followed along everybody who's enjoyed the game everybody who's enjoyed the LP you know yeah there were some what the fuck moments and some there were a lot of moments it was a roller coaster guys but I'm so happy to have shared it with you and what is this you have stopped the collectors from creating a human reaper you now have two choices continue the game complete unfinished missions develop relationships play downloadable content and explore the galaxy for anything you missed Import Shepard. Start a new game with his character. At your current level with the current rubbers. No, I want one. I want one. And here we are. And here we are. But... <laughs> this feels so weird coming after the credits. I was gonna sit here. With my picture of Caden. You know? Here I am, guys, with my stuff. Just gonna leave it like this for now. But, um, the truth of the matter is is that I enjoyed the ride. And there were some bad moments and some good moments and laughing and crying and <laughs> it was a roller coaster and I couldn't have been more happy, I think. I do feel that, like, I'm gonna carry the weight of that death with me throughout the rest of the game but it is what it is and you can't I'm not gonna go back and change my decisions so tough cookie <laughs> but anyways I want to thank everybody who's shared the, the the ride with me and will continue to share the ride with me through the DLC and right on into Mass Effect 3 so thank you everybody for watching 
stay tuned for the DLC and the inevitable coming of Mass Effect 3. Thank you so much for being here with me. Take care, guys.